Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo and you're watching Tozawa Tanks. So a few weeks ago I had a video come out about uh, this tank right here, my Tanganyikan tank. Not my main Tanganyikan tank which is upstairs, but the new Tanganyikan tank down here in the fish room. This is a 29 gallon tank that was previously planted. I got some, um, some new Tanganyikan fish so I decided to change the entire scape. And uh, I asked a lot of you guys, uh, the viewers, to give me some uh, feedback on what you think I should do as far as how to scape it and what to stock it with. So if you're following me on Instagram, you probably already know how I scaped this tank. You saw the little Instagram video that I put on there. Uh, one little tip is if you do want to see kind of some things in advance uh, that are going to be featured on this channel, but are not yet released then Instagram is a great way to uh, take a sneak peek to see what's going on. Another way to also see what's going on is to look at the community tab on my channel. So um, from time to time I will post uh, things on the community tab. It might be deals on sales, it might be photographs or short little clips of um, tanks um, or some older videos that I wanted to share again. So anyway, so uh, I did share on Instagram and on the community tab on my channel that uh, I did rescape this tank. If you subscribe to my channel then, um, and then if you hit that notification bell, or even if you don't hit the notification bell, but at least if you subscribe to my channel, then um, the community posts that I uh, post on YouTube will uh, pop up in your feed. So anyway, onto the tank, I do want to talk a little bit about the scape and uh, then we will talk about the inhabitants. So as far as escape, I decided to take the advice of a lot of you. So I gave some options and some ideas and what I wanted to do. And a large portion of the responses told me to uh, use the dry rock, the coral essentially, that I had um, since I had a whole bunch of it um, for a few reasons. So one, it's a kind of aesthetically pleasing. So, you know, it, it has a very cool kind of Tanganyikan lake rock look to it. Uh, the other thing that uh, this does attribute to is it creates a lot of hiding places for the fish. So the fish that I have in here, which are the uh, Gelidochromis uh, transcriptus, the Tanzanias, they are rock dwellers, so they like to have, you know, little caves and holes and rocks to hide in. And uh, I have had a little bit of aggression in here uh, with the four that I have. So I have noticed that having these rocks and having those hiding spaces has been great for them so they can kind of get away from one another. The other part about the scape uh, that you guys recommended as far as the dry rock is the buffering capabilities of coral. So for a lot of you that don't know, if you have a fish tank and you need to keep the pH high, so a lot of us that keep cichlids, African cichlids specifically, whether they be fish from Lake Malawi or Lake Tanganyika, they prefer to have a higher pH. Now, in a lot of my other tanks that I have with African cichlids, I have either aragonite as a substrate or crushed coral. And if I don't have that, then sometimes what I'll do is I'll put little bags of coral so or crushed coral. So if you can see right here, um, this is a peacock uh, grow out tank and I've got some uh, a little stocking with some crushed coral in there. So I often do that as well. Um, I have very high pH here anyway out of the tap, but it does kind of help uh, regulate and keep everything where it should be. And because we have soft water with a high pH, I do add some buffers and the coral really helps with that. So anyway, the coral in this tank is really going to keep the uh, water parameters at the optimum level as far as uh, tank and can fish. So not only is it aesthetically pleasing, it has the holes and the hiding places and the caves for the fish and also has a buffering capability. So it's kind of like the triple threat of uh, fish scape. So uh, anyway, that's why I went with this. Additionally, just to kind of add a little bit of color and you know a little bit of uh, drama in the tank, I did add some Anubias. So I've got a few pieces of Anubias attached to the uh, coral. So we'll see how they do. Um, Sometimes they do well, sometimes they melt back, but I've got a whole bunch of it in other tanks, so um, we'll just kind of keep an eye on that and see how it goes, but hopefully it attaches and it takes off and does well. It's not gonna do a huge uh, job on reducing nitrates because it's so slow growing, but it will aid a little bit and uh, could also add a little bit of hiding places for some fish in the future and also just make the tank look really nice. With the substrate, I decided to keep it black. Some of you said go white. Um, others said keep it black. Some said mix it with black and white. I decided to keep it black for now just because it's already there. It was easy. Um, typically when uh, fish have like darker background or darker substrate, I mean, they feel a little bit more comfortable. So I thought it might help to keep the fish out and active. Um, it does help to hide detritus and algae and things like that as well. 
that will uh, form in this tank from time to time. As far as inhabitants in the tank, I only uh, right now just have the four Julies. I do have a Nearite snail in there and um, a couple little pond snails or whatever that were left over from before. But uh, anyway, so right now that's all I have in there. I did get a lot of suggestions. I am taking those to heart. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put in here yet, but I am keeping my eye open for a lot of those fish that were recommended to me. And uh, in future weeks and months, this tank will be evolving. So I'll definitely make sure to keep you guys apprised of what's going on with this tank. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check me out on Instagram again and uh, subscribe so you can see the uh, community tab as well so you can uh, get up-to-date stuff on what's going on on my channel. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.